Hello all. In this video, I'm going to explain module-wise important questions. Question number six. Explain structured programming concept. Question number seven. Explain different statements used in C programming. Write the algorithm and flowchart for the following roots of quadratic equation, largest of three numbers. Explain implicit and explicit type conversion with example. Let's see sixth question answer. Explain structured programming concept. In structured programming, the whole program will divide into smaller pieces so that we can easily understand the program and we can easily check the errors. Structured programming concept is nothing but we are going to divide entire program into different different modules. The advantages of structured programming approach are easier to read and understand the code, user friendly, easier to maintain, easy to debug, and it's machine independent. And we have a few disadvantages of structured programming approach. So disadvantages are, since it is a machine independent, so it takes time to convert into machine code. Without converting machine code, we cannot run the program, right? The converting machine code is not the same as for assembly language. These two are the disadvantages of structured programming approach. Seventh question. Explain different statements used in C programming. C programming are a collection of statements. Statements is an executable part of the program. It will do some actions. In general, all arithmetic actions and the logical actions are false under statement categories. We have five types of statements, expression statements, compound statements, selection statements, iterative statements, jump statements. First statement, expression statements. It is the combination of variables, constants, operators, function calls, and followed by a semicolon. Expression can be any operation like arithmetic operation or a logical operation. Let's see the example, how to write expression statement. It's a combination of variables, constant, operations, function calls, and followed by a semicolon. Combination of variables. Here I'm taking x is equal to y plus 10. It's one expression. A greater than b. It's a combination. A is equal to 10 plus 20 into 30. But I have to give a semicolon. It's an expression. These are the examples of expressions. Next, compound statement. Compound statement is a combination of several expression statements. Compound statement is enclosed with the curly braces. Compound statement is also called as block statement. Whenever you are going to write any condition, we have to write the body of the code, right? So we are going to call it as compound statement. There is no need of any semicolon at the end of compound statements. So let me write the example of compound statement. So here I have to write compound statement within the curly braces, right? So here is the example, int a is equal to 10, b is equal to 5, c, c is equal to a plus b. Print f percentile d, and here I'm going to, here I did not mention any semicolon here. There is no need of any semicolon at the end of compound statement. Here is the end of compound, compound statement. I'm not mentioning any semicolon here. 
Next, selection statement. Selection statements are used in the decision making situations. We will look about selection statements uh, while we are writing code for biggest of two numbers and um, find out the biggest of three numbers and the swapping of two number uh, no, um, ATM example. We already explained this if if else switch cases. So here I'm going to uh, here are the few selection statements if if else switch. So we know how to write uh, selection statement examples. So here I'm I'm writing a different uh, example. What ready application? So here I'm going to write if age greater than or is equal to 18, then I have to print you are eligible to apply order ID. Else, not eligible to apply order ID. So it's all about selection statement. Next statement, iterative statement. Iterative statements are nothing but loops. If you want to execute a part of program many times, we will use loops. So basic loops are for loop, while loop, do while loop. So example, iterative statements. Print and natural numbers. For i is, uh, int i is equal to 0, i less than r is equal to 10, i plus plus. Print i value. You will get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will execute a part of program many times. Is nothing but iterative statements next statement jump statements there are unconditional statements called jump statements are useful for transfer the control one part of program to another part of program. There are few jump statements in C language. It is continue, break, return, go to. If I want to explain, so here are the examples of jump statement. For example, here I have options. Print option one, withdraw. Option two, deposit. Here I want to print these options again and again in my console. So after writing some code, here I'm writing go to options. Then I will print these options again and again in my Console. Here is the example program for the jump statements. Next question, explain implicit and explicit type conversions with example. What is implicit type conversion? What is type conversion? Type conversion is nothing but converting a variable with a one data type to another data type. So here, there are two types of type conversions. Conversions are available in C language. One is implicit and the second one is explicit. Implicit, the compiler provides implicit type conversions when operands are of different data types. It's automatically done by the compiler by converting smaller data type to larger data type. So we can call implicit data type 
conversion as automatic conversion it converting smaller data type to a larger data type let's check the example of converting smaller data type to larger data type here i am declaring integer a here i am not passing any value and i am writing for loop for initialization a is equal to 80 a less than or is equal to 100 a plus plus the condition is true here print f i am printing percentile c of a in this example i am converting integer a to character a here i used format specifier a implicit type casting from integer to char if you observe here my variable is integer variable i have to write percentile d right but here i am not writing percentile d because i want to convert my integer data type to a character data type next explicit type conversion explicit type conversion is done by the user it's a automatic type conversion ex implicit but explicit is a manual conversion before the conversion is performed a runtime check is done to see if the destination type can hold the source value that means we user wantedly changing the data type according to the requirement we have to change the type of the variable so before checking before converting any data type we have to check the value and the size so explicit type conversion so let me explain the program explicit type conversion so manual conversion here i am declaring int x comma y and here i have a float value z now y is equal to int of x plus z here in the result explicit z is converted into integer explicitly and then assigned to y so let me write one example int a for a is equal to 80 a less than or is equal to 100 a plus plus the condition is true print f it's almost like implicit but now i am changing the value char of a here i am using this statement that means here explicit casting from into to char
so i want to give you two more examples for implicit and explicit int i is equal to 50 float a here i am performing implicit conversion so a is equal to i it's a float value it's a integer value here i am converting integer value into float value so let me print percentile it's a float value right i have to use percentile f of a i'm assigning integer value to a float value i will get float value this is example of implicit type conversion same example int i is equal to 40 here i am taking small value small data type that is short a is equal to short of i i am using explicit it's a example of explicit conversion and comments here implicit conversion print f as it is a integer value i am going to use percentile d of a so these are the two examples of implicit and explicit type conversions thanks for watching